personalization at scale and one-to-one -one experiences require data, profile and content to be part of the same ecosystem. As an organization, you need to do everything just once and consistently reuse what you already have throughout the organization. That means having one data foundation, one profile store, one definition of a segment, one definition of an offer, and one definition of a journey, which also requires you to organize yourself as one team that drives the holistic customer experience of your organization, just once. To ensure that your customer experience mimics human-to-human -human conversations, it needs to be real-time, omnichannel, contextual, and consistent. And to make that possible, you need a future-proof, scalable architecture to drive your personalization ambitions. Let's talk about how Adobe Experience Platform, as your brain for communication and orchestration, delivers on the promise of real-time one-to-one experiences and how it interacts with your existing enterprise ecosystem. Adobe Experience Platform consists of two main components. The real-time customer profile, which enables all of the real-time aspects of personalization, like real-time data collection, real-time customer profiles, real-time segmentation, and real-time activation. The data lake is used for storage of all the data that's collected and is also used for use cases around analytics and machine learning. To ensure real-time data collection and real-time activation, a third major component is Adobe's Edge infrastructure. The Edge is a globally distributed network of servers that receive data from channels like websites and mobile applications. Edge servers are a key element which ensures streamlined data collection to not just Adobe Experience Platform, but also to all Adobe Experience Cloud solutions. So whenever a customer interacts with your website or mobile application, that data will be collected using the Web SDK or the mobile SDK, and that data will then be received by the Edge, and the Edge will then respond within milliseconds with segment qualifications and personalized offers, which will result in an on-site or an in-app personalization in a same page or next page scenario. The data that's collected is stored in the real-time customer profile. A customer profile consists of profile attributes, events, and the identity graph, which contains all the identities that are linked to a customer, which makes it possible to collect data about your customer from various sources and then combines it into a merged view of your customer ready for consistent personalization in an omnichannel world. Let's talk about activation. You can use the data in the customer profile through three main mechanisms. By using the profile API, by building segments, and by building customer journeys for one-to-one, -one, always on communication. Profile lookups through the API support use cases whereby environments like call centers or point of sales terminals look up all profile attributes and all up to the last millisecond behavioral data of a customer so that the experience in the call center or at the point of sales terminal can be personalized. The segment-based activation workflow supports use cases whereby Adobe Target can read segment memberships from Adobe Experience Platform in real time at the edge, so that when a customer expresses an interest in a product on the website, Adobe Target can immediately personalize the experience on the website by reading the segment membership at the edge and changing the look and feel of the website immediately. With real-time CDP, segment qualifications can be sent towards channels like social, search, and display. Typical destinations include people-based destinations like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, Google, but also various other advertising destinations such as the Trade Desk, Yahoo, and many others. That same segment can also be shared with email marketing destinations like Oracle Responses, Oracle Eloqua, but also to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and many others. Several enterprise destinations are also available out of the box, like AWS services like Kinesis and S3, Azure services like Event Hub and Blob Storage, and by using the HTTP API destination, a segment qualification can be streamed to any custom API endpoint in a standardized format, but you can also customize it by using destinations SDK, which makes it possible for you to alter your own custom destination using a custom payload template that matches the requirements of your own systems. While segment-based activation is useful and required to interact with social search and advertising destinations, that's not enough anymore. You also need to be able to listen to granular customer behavior and respond to it immediately in a contextualized way. That's where one-to-one -one experiences come into the picture. One-to-one -one experiences are powered by Adobe Journey Optimizer, which is an application service that is built on top of the foundation of Adobe Experience Platform. 
Journey Optimizer makes it possible to listen to events like account creation, page view, product view, add to cart, segment qualifications, and much more to then trigger the start of a journey. Every journey is defined as a sequence with potential wait times and the ability to query the real-time customer profile in Adobe Experience Platform at any point of the journey. Besides querying Adobe Experience Platform's real-time customer profile, it's also possible to query any external data source in real-time. As such, you can query external decisioning systems, real-time machine learning endpoints, external weather APIs, and also your in-store stock system. All of these external data sources will make contextual and timely information available to the journey that will help personalize the overall experience of your customer. From within a journey, messages can be sent to just about any application in your own ecosystem. Of course, it's possible to take action by sending an email, push notification, SMS or in-app message to Adobe Journey Optimizer natively, but it's also possible to define custom actions to external applications like non-Adobe email marketing destinations, uh, AWS, Microsoft, and much more. The only requirements for these solutions is that they need to have an API that Journey Optimizer can communicate with. When you send messages, you need the ability to create and reuse content. Journey Optimizer comes with an AEM Assets Essentials environment, which makes it possible to work with content. On top of that, you can create your own message templates with full access to profile attributes and event context data for personalization using the native what you see is what you get message editor. When you talk about personalization, you also talk about personalized offers. As already discussed, an offer should be built once and reused everywhere. Based on all available profile attributes and omnichannel event data, Adobe's offer service will make a decision about what offer should be presented to which customer. That offer can then be used in email, SMS, push and in-app channels, but also towards any custom API endpoint destination. Because the decision about the offer is based on profile attributes and event data inside Adobe Experience Platform, the decision itself also becomes part of the real-time customer profile, which means that it can be used everywhere by anyone. So channels like call centers and point of sales terminals can read the same decision from the profile and deliver the offer directly to the customer. But also Adobe Target can reuse that same offer in website and mobile app channels through the native integration with Edge and Target. So the same offer for the same customer can be delivered in real time through an experience on the website and the mobile application. With that, we've now discussed the experience ecosystem that is powered by Adobe Experience Platform. This experience ecosystem needs to be tightly integrated into your organization's enterprise and data ecosystem. Like many others, your organization has probably also invested in your own data lake. Such a data lake is usually intended to store data for eternity, to have an understanding of a customer's profile, and potentially to apply machine learning and analytics to all that valuable data on a profile level. Data that's stored there typically includes things like CRM data, transactional data, but also data about products the customer owns and machine learning insights. That data is crucial for experiences as well, and that data needs to become part of the experience ecosystem as well. To make that possible, there are multiple ways of getting that data into Adobe Experience Platform. You can either use the API directly or take advantage of the 50 plus out of the box source connectors in the platform, or else you can use one of the many ETL solutions that can take the intermediate role to transform and ingest data into the platform. The API and source connectors are usually used in a batch method, but obviously many organizations have already adopted a streaming mindset. So if you have invested in things like AWS Kinesis, Azure Event Hub, Apache Kafka, or any other streaming platform, we've got you covered. You can connect your data pipeline to the Adobe Experience Platform directly. For Kafka, for instance, we offer a Kafka Connect Sync connector. And for AWS Kinesis and Azure Event Hub, a native streaming source connector exists, which then streams that data in real time into the Adobe ecosystem. Additionally, we now offer an Edge server-side API so that organizations have the ability now to connect their website and mobile applications into their own pipeline directly to then stream event data into the Adobe Edge in real-time server-side, which also enables the response from Edge that contains personalization information to be shared back to the website and mobile application in real-time. All the omnichannel customer data that's ingested in the Adobe Experience Platform 
is stored in datasets in the data lake. All the data is modeled against the experience data model, and with that, data from any source channel is normalized against the same model, which enables consistent personalization everywhere. With all that omnichannel data being stored in the same platform and against the same data model, you suddenly have a lot of options to gain insights out of that data. As part of the platform, Adobe offers a number of out-of-the-box machine learning powered intelligent services like attribution AI and customer AI. On top of that, the query service provides you with a SQL layer on top of the platform that allows you to interact with it from any external application, like for instance BI environments like Tableau, Click, Power BI, but also through command line tools like psql, and you can even use query service to load experience data from Adobe Experience Platform into your own Jupyter Notebooks cluster so that it can be used for training and scoring of machine learning models. Finally, many organizations have large business teams that want to analyze the full customer journey. If you want your business teams to be largely independent in getting to valuable insights, customer journey analytics is the right solution for you. It brings you user-friendly dashboarding tools, which allow you to combine omnichannel data into one single dashboard so that you can have insight in your end-to-end -end customer journey across all channels. To conclude, every organization already has a big brain. That's your data ecosystem. But most organizations don't really have a real brain for communication and orchestration. Instead, you have maybe 15 different brains for communication and orchestration. In order to deliver future-proof, consistent and real-time one-to-one experiences, you need to connect your big brain with one single platform that acts as your brain for communication and orchestration in a bi-directional way. Only then will you be able to deliver on the promise of omnichannel one-to-one -one personalization. So